Good morning, guys. It is it's Friday, July 26. Okay, so I have a friend. Her name is Varushka Normando. She is the owner and creator of Rose Yoga, a channel on YouTube. You guys can check her out. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna put the link in the description box below if you're interested. She's a healing arts coach. She's also a photographer, and she does alchemical photo shoots. Um, she actually, she gave me a sample. She showed me some of her samples, and I love this picture so much. You see how beautiful that is, how peaceful, how powerful. So she ended up gifting this to me. It just, just, <laughs> it's so powerful. I mean, it really evoked something in me. Here, let me put this back for a second. But not only is she a photographer and a healing arts coach, she, uh, in, on her channel, she does interviews with the most unique, interesting people. It may not be for everyone. She also offers uh, tapping. You know what that is when um, it's a, uh, what do you call it? It's a form of therapy. It's a tool for coping and healing. Okay, and the link below that I'm going to be putting in there is not just to her channel, but it's to the uh, one of her original tapping videos, okay? And on top of that, she makes vibrational flower essences. Uh, her essences are called Miracle Ink. And, oh, is it backwards? Okay. <laughs> Anyways, so she gave me this one. She had a bunch of bottles when she came here, and she put them down, and I closed my eyes, and I waved my hand over them. And I ended up choosing Fairy Godmother, which is actually the one that she chose for me. So now I've been spraying it to add to the vibrations every time before I do a reading. Sometimes it's on camera, sometimes it's not. And then, uh, oh, the thing, the thing about these sprays is this one actually has like a, you can't see it, but there is a crystal in there so it's like double by double triple vibrations very super stuff and that one in particular it smells like cedar and uh, i sprayed it and i closed my eyes and i was instantly transported to ninth grade standing in the middle of shop class trying to steal the cedar wood uh cutoffs just sticking in my pocket sticking it in my pocket and then you know all those times i used, I used to carry it around with me and smell it every so often so I had forgotten about that until I smelled it and it, it brought back that wonderful memory. Okay, and this one, this is a very special tincture, okay, made with whiskey. Uh, um, you only put three drops under. This is not meant for you to uh, tank or anything. This has three different essences in it. It has the uh, black magic rose the red rose and the red rose in here is locally grown right here in on the big island of hawaii okay and then it has the mutable rose so it's basically like the black and white unite into the gray area kind of deal um is the mixture and for me it it really helped i was having issues um I was unable to focus, and what this did was it corrected my balance. Three drops under the tongue, that's all you need. And it actually lifted my spirits. The red rose is love. It stands for love. It is the purest form of love. And the black magic rose, I forgot what that stands for, but you know, <laughs> it should speak for itself. Black magic rose. This is basically magic love, right? And then mutable. So it's kind of like it's, it's, it's white magic and dark magic uniting in a gray area for the most leveled out love. So there's like a complete balance here in this lift uh, lift me up pick me up anyways i can't even describe it um <laughs> like i said you can check out her uh, the link below and this will take you directly to a tapping video on her channel and below in her comment box she has all the links for her website and where you can get these and other wonderful items that uh she offers okay so without further ado friday july 26 we have numbers of 26 and 27 today 
that immediately. Sudden wealth, false person, and coffin. The moon is in Gemini, and there are no other major transits. However, we still have major energies um, in play. So those of you who are not sure what's going on, go ahead and check out my weekly predictions horoscope. Um, also, if you want to look at the last, what was it, a full moon? Yeah, the full moon in, uh, God, where am I? <laughs> The full moon in Capricorn back on July 16th, okay? Then we also have, um, oh gosh, and it, and it was a full moon partial lunar eclipse, okay? And at the end of the month coming up here on July 31st, we have the new moon in Leo. So um, energies are flying. We have a lot of outer planet transits, a lot of shifting around of energy and just weird changes and um the best thing of all, look at that. I was going to say it's a gift. <laughs> it's a gift. There's the gift card. Um, the best thing of all is that the universe has been working on you. And as you're doing the work, it has been working to help you clear blocks from your path or to help bring you to the lessons in order to clear your path and reach your destiny or your abundance. Uh, sometimes it's the same, same deal, um, same idea. All right, so sudden wealth, false person, and coffin. So this is kind of like sudden wealth is a big chunk of money. It's also a sign of success where you've met your goals or you feel you're, you have everything you need or you can do everything that you need. It's also feeling well protected. This almost feels like my Ten of Pentacles mixed with the Wheel of Fortune. I almost feel like you're, you're trying to preserve your energy by shutting people out. We have false person immediately after sudden wealth. This could be somebody trying to fool you into some kind of scheme, you know, like uh, the phone calls that you get. Oh, your warranty is expired, blah, 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 blah. And you're like, well, um, I haven't had a car in 10 years. How can, my, how can my warranty expire? You guys are full of shit. Put me on your do not call list kind of deal. Um, it's like somebody who's been lying to you about abundance or about money or a property or a particular goal it's kind of like it's an end to that story. Somebody's being ousted here or there's an end to the lies or an end to the theft. Somebody who appears rich. This is this is after, so they're not being sneaky. This is in your face. So this can be somebody who's a Taurus or this can be the Uranus in Taurus. where somebody's open about something, blatantly taking something from you, um, blatantly ripping you off or blatantly betraying or lying to you. This is on the table. This is not something that's sneaky. They are right out in the open blasting you or stealing from you or um, they've taken something from you, some kind of value from you. Okay, that's coming to an end. We have the coffin card. Beginnings and endings, completion of that particular cycle and moving forward into growth. So this action is over and done with. They've taken it from you. They're not going to take any more or they're not going to be able to take any more from you. Okay. And because you've released this, which this could very well be releasing it because 19 is beginnings and endings, but it's also, it could be the beginning of the end for the lies or for the stealing or for the theft or for the victimization of someone else or for, you know, a power trip they were playing on someone else. There's an end to it, okay? 19 also equals 10, which also equals, it, 10 is one and zero, okay? And it basically equals one. So it's like it's the beginning of the end, things close out, something new starts, and we move forward. Okay, so we're moving forward from the lies, from the betrayal, from the theft. There's progress. And then we have pathway and we have gift. 
Oh, yeah, there's an end. Okay, I already said that. Something stolen from you. Okay, when I looked at the false person card, they drew my attention back to the number. It's number eight. So this could have been a legacy or an inheritance that you felt was being stolen from you or some kind of possession or property. Okay, they're telling me property. So this can be like, you know, like like I own this crystal ball and, and you know, somebody stole it from me. So this is considered property. Um, property can be a physical property like something you own it can be a like a dog an animal hell it could be a pen it could be money it could be an idea it could be yourself okay if somebody's been holding power over you and manipulating you and trying their best to control you or keep you from being independent that's coming to an end and this, this is not your, just your physical being. Like, you know, there's, there's those out there who are separated from their families while their partners are trying to control them every aspect of their lives, like uh, trying to hinder them from being independent so they're forced to, uh, you're forced to need them. That's coming to an end. Somebody's codependency is what it smells like. And eight is also a shared resource too. So something that you could have co-owned or even co-parented is what I just heard. The theft of it is coming to an end. There will be no more. Okay, then we got pathway and gift, 35 and 17. This is like allowing these things to be purged from your life with or without a fight. It could be a person that you had to push out or a person left after they ripped you off or you felt ripped off because a person left or died because of this coffin here okay this could very well have been that you lost something or you could have found out that this person that left you there was a secret there was a hidden treasure There was something that was left behind, a legacy for you. I don't know if it's a lesson, but yeah, they just drew my attention back to the 11 here. That's goals. Okay, so there was something that they left behind, and it's probably your resolution to never let this happen to you again or to never experience this again, whatever this was that closed out. Okay, pathway and gift. There is a change in where you're traveling okay this is destination unknown and a gift you're finally free to do whatever you want after be, having power held over you for so long now you don't know what to do and you know what it, <laughs> it, it is just so freeing first of all not to have somebody directing you but to be able to choose your own direction okay to be able to choose your direction, your own direction and own yourself. Uh, take responsibility for yourself and your reliance, but always still remain open to love. There's a lot of butterflies on this path here, so major, major changes in how you think, how you move. This is conscious awareness of where you're headed realizing that not only are you free but this is the best gift of all you were released so that you can be the master of your own seas okay so let's clarify this uh sudden wealth see what this is all about sudden wealth
looks like they don't want to give me too much cards under that. We'll stop there for that one. Okay, this false person. That's, I smell a traitor or an enemy in the midst. And this is an open enemy. False person. Clarify false person. This is a false person. Oh boy. Okay, for coffin, I'm going to use this one. Let's clarify the coffin. Oh, by the way, I pre shuffle these before I even start. I shuffle them on screen just because I like shuffling. <laughs> Not uh oh, but oh, look at that. Love how the oh. okay. So one card made it out. I got it over here. One card made it out, and they want me to clarify that. They want me to clarify the emperor with one of these cards. Okay, so clarify the emperor. Okay, and I'm gonna try and bri uh, bri breeze through. Can't talk today. I'm gonna try and breeze through um, this this reading really quick because uh, I'm not going to give big explanations. I basically did. So we're going to go through the details. Okay. Can we clarify pathway, please? Clarify the pathway. To clarify for the pathway. Hmm. And clarify this gift. So the gift is kind of like, um, it's aces. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, and another one just fell out on my lap. Okay, so maybe it's talk the, that card is talking to me. That's two cards already that kept trying to touch me and land in my lap. <laughs> okay, so this gift here is, it's like the aces. It is a blessing, a blessing in disguise. It could be a partnership. It could be something of your dreams but this feels like um, it could also be an offering or it could be a peace offering because I'm seeing here you know I mean even in the cart they're holding it they're holding the they're holding it like this but something is being handed to you. A blessing is being handed to you, given to you, um, because you deserve it, okay? And it's in terms of your pathway. It's almost like after this is over, after this has victimization has closed out, you're done being the victim. Uh, physically, emotionally, and spiritually, you're done with victimhood. You're no longer the victim. You're becoming the victor. And because of that choice, where to allot your energy, your destination now has changed and you're probably, oh, what do we have the, um, the full moon and meal? Hold on, hold on. There's something, what is the north node? Um, the north node is conjuncting with something. Hold on, I have to look at this week's horoscope. Sorry, guys. <laughs> okay, so on the 31st, oh, the moon and oh the moon conjuncting the north node in cancer and mercury is pretty close to the north node also so it's like you know a conjunction and then a couple hours later another conjunction with the moon so that's a lot of emotions and the north node is in cancer is basically where you are headed you know trying to head home trying to find your home trying to find your place in this world whether it's physical emotional or spiritual it's where do I belong? Basically, okay. So you might you might be finding it, or it might show itself to you. Okay. So with sudden wealth, ooh, eight of swords and judgment, guilt. Okay, guilt and being bound to your past decisions, your past mistakes. I shouldn't have done that, or. 
I can't believe I did that, or I'm never going to do that again, or I will never let you do this to me again. So this is a resolution not to be a victim or not to be treated as a victim. Okay, for some of you guys, if you're the one who's been the bully and bullying other people, um, intimidating and taking power from them by claiming it, that's over. That's over and done with. Okay, this false person, we have the two of hearts and the death card. So some of you guys could have found out that you had a frenemy in your midst. Okay, somebody that you love dearly and had a relationship or an intimate relationship with or someone you thought that you had an intimate relationship and you know you see you shared good times you shared bad times this is your friend this is your lover this is your partner this can even be a family member okay but this for a lot of you guys in the twin flames relationships this is uh with the false person this person was a false twin or this was the lesson of the false twin before they became the true twin because I don't believe there are false twins I mean we have karmics where we learn lessons from but the thing is you know if you really love someone you stay with them through their trials and tribulations even though occasionally you need to distance yourself and give yourself a break and it's not to teach them a lesson but to give them a space to learn from their outbursts and to re uh, confront themselves Okay, because a lot of us don't confront ourselves when we have to pay attention to someone else. It's only when we are truly alone and have to stare at ourselves in the mirror do we begin to look at all the cracks in the mirror. Okay, so two of hearts, somebody close to you, ending a friendship. Okay, because they're toxic, it is not healthy for you. They are your frenemy. Okay, they can be nice to you and talk shit behind your back okay and i saw this on facebook the other day that a real friend will talk shit to your face and talk nice about you and defend you behind your back and that's true you fucker <laughs> that is so true i mean a real friend will call you out on your shit okay and then be there for you as you confront yourself and face your own fears and recognize the for me, the, the tendency to go to victim mentality, a true friend will inspire you to stand the fuck up and stop feeling sorry for yourself and get back into the game of life. Okay, coffin, for some of you guys, yeah, there's an ending to a friendship, an ending to a relationship, um, or partnership. This could be in business too, although I'm not seeing a business partner at the moment. The moon. There was some secrets. Um, this could have been an explosion. There could have been a huge fight. Someone you thought that was there for you really did not have your best interests at heart. They showed themselves. They showed themselves. They were, they were probably jealous. Okay, and feeling some jealousy here. A real friend will be happy when something positive or good happens to you okay so you know you had to make the call judgment call this person acts like they're my friend they act like they're there for me they act like they're listening they act like they support me when in fact they're talking shit about me and they don't support me at all um they just feed into the drama and perpetuate it so there is somebody in your midst that has been perpetuating drama or who is super jealous of you because you don't perpetuate drama this comes out okay it, it's secret it was something that was hidden but they make no bones about it um with the taurus energy taurus is open enemies and we have the moon which is pisces which is boundless love okay so the secret has come out they might have exploded because I, i'm being drawn to like the smoke in the air behind um the the betrayal bitch <laughs> okay your your frenemy here or or the person who worked behind your back to knock you down while pretending to be your friend to your face okay i also saw another one the other day that's like you know just because i'm smiling at you doesn't mean anything it could mean i could be in, uh, picturing you on fire ha 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 <laughs> just saying you know um whoever this was friend partner relationship they put on a front and you didn't see it until this argument or until they made some kind of decision which forced you to make a decision okay and they're gone um 
No frenemies in the mist allowed. Okay, I'm back. Okay, so where was I? Oh, the secrets that have come out to the surface, eruptions of the subconscious. And with the moon in Taurus, this is openly telling someone or openly discovering that somebody in your mist has been an enemy. Oh, that's what I was getting last night. Um, regrets. Regretting that you even made that friend or regretting that you didn't see it sooner. Um, feeling guilty that you had to eclipse someone. But they betrayed you. They were talking behind your back and it looks like they were talking to your face too. This person has an issue that they need to correct. So they had to be called out. This could be they resented you. They resent you. They're jealous. They've harbored this for a while. They're, I'm smelling a little vindictiveness here. Not get, the eight. The number eights are attracting me. Now, with the moon here, the moon is still currently in Taurus, but the complete exact opposite is Scorpio, which is the eighth house so there was definitely some kind of fight definitely some kind of issue where you guys butted heads and you found out that somebody was playing against you i just heard uh, had a secret wish so there could be somebody that is wishing that something would happen to you um for some of you guys it's for their own good for others this is nasty nasty energy and frenemy Frenemy energy, but somebody's hoping something will come to an end, period. We have the Emperor and the King of Cups. So there's somebody here who's got some addiction issues, whether it's drugs or alcohol. Or they're power hungry. They always got to be in control of everything, be in control of the outcome. Um, this feels like... I want to say master manipulator, but it's more like micromanager. Look at these two guys, King of Cups and the Emperor. Both sitting in the chair. Serve me, serve me, do for me, um, do me. <laughs> but this is basically a demand for your energy. So somebody's been a drain on your energy. They've been hogging your energy. They always want you to give to them when in fact they're taking from you. Yeah, it's like they wanted to keep you for their little secret. It looks like they drained you dry and you allowed it because you thought you guys were friends. You thought you guys had this a loving relationship when really they were using you. Okay, that, that smells like Capricorn. Um, you were used. And these people or person no longer have a place in your world. And hence the Cancer Capricorn. Um, like I said, I was smelling Capricorn. Uh, judgment, Pluto here. Um, Pluto retrograde. And Cancer, the moon. Security, feeling safe. So, in fact, your best interests were not safe with this person. And it's kind of like, I feel like they kind of threw a fit, a hissy fit, when you wouldn't agree to do what they wanted when they wanted. When you told them, I'm not jumping for you anymore, or do it yourself, or I can't help you. This person is needy. They're very needy. I want to say emotional immaturity, but they play like they've got everything under control and they're so powerful. This is, uh, this is behind the mask. There's a lot of emotions, but they keep that, they keep it a secret. Keeping secrets and being sneaky is a Taurus element. Keeping secrets is the Scorpio element. Being sneaky and being confrontational is the Taurus and the exact opposite, the Scorpio um, being quiet and secretive, keeping things to yourself, including emotions. And if you have anything against somebody, you don't let them know. You watch them and you observe them to see how they act before you bring out that 
stinger whether they deserve it or not okay it's like assessing you know water signs are naturally intuitive and they're like natural psychiatrists psychologists so when i see the king of cups i always think scorpio energy and when i see the emperor i always feel aries energy so this is like aggressive wanting to control not wanting to be under anybody else's thumb so assuming other people's power trying your best to take from them not saying anything but this is a manipulation uh very strategic very smart and very sneaky how they're doing this they just don't say it they just um how can i explain this they use your emotions against you okay and they've been doing this for so long it's not even a conscious thought this is just something they do it's part of their habits and they need to untrain their brain okay so for this friend they're gone um, if this is a relationship I'm not sure what's going on with you guys you guys were two peas in a pod and that might now be over because this power games are done okay the sun reverse princess of swords ace of hearts and three of swords so the sun um there's no more growth going on here i think that relationship is completely finished um we're not holding on to this anymore this person is toxic and they need to be purged okay um the sun is in leo this is reverse so it's a drain there's no more spark with this person um they're done that's it. that's all I can say is they're done you're done with them you want nothing more to do with them um, you can't have somebody like this in your midst because all they're doing is working against you princess of swords okay this is communication it can be news it can be ideas it's it is ideas it's protect your information protect your information so this person um, it, it it's like hacking okay with mercury still retrograde in Leo there could be short circuiting there can be hacking there can be people trying to um, fool you into or out of something So this person literally took you. They took you for a ride. They took your love and spurned it. So now they had now they're gone or you had to tell them to leave or they left on their own out of their own jealousy. Whatever this decision was, it was part of karma. Um, this is a permanent thing. There's no going back. They could be spying on you, hoping that you're not getting any better. This is kind of a oh um You'll never be able to make it without me, or I hope they can't go on without me. So they may be like peeking at your social media, looking for something to call you out on or talk shit. Um, they miss you, but most of all, they miss the energy that they got from you. They miss controlling you. Now they have nothing to control but themselves. Ace of Hearts. They're watching you love yourself, okay, through the pain and through the sorrow. Oh, look, there's the rose again, the rose at the Ace of Hearts. Now, this is blessing. This is uh, being able to finally love yourself after pain and sorrow, okay? So they're watching you, and they're jealous. Um, they could be thinking of something vindictive or... This could have been the vindictive thing that they got ousted for, or they did this really vindictive thing and then they left. Pathway. We've got Seven of Pentacles and the Emperor. Once again, we've got the Emperor coming out stoic. Maintaining the illusion of control while there's really a higher power or a bigger eye keeping an eye on them. Okay, Seven of Pentacles, frustration. Um, impatience waiting for something to bear fruit um, trying to figure out and it's on pathway 
Okay, so you're trying to figure out where you go from here. This person is now gone, whether it was a friend, a family member, a partner, or a relationship. This is no more. So now, what do you do? Um, you're not really stuck. You're just kind of recouping, recouping your losses. Okay, and this is in terms of energy, energetic losses, whether you're taking back your belongings, uh, taking back your love, your ideas, your power, taking back your power that this person took from you that you gave freely because you believe that they had your best interests in heart, okay? So they were feeding off of you. So there's this measure of, oh God, what do I do now? Now my best friend is gone, who really wasn't my best friend. And it's got to looking at yourself like, my God, do I really have no friends or am I that bad? You're questioning yourself. Why did this happen to me? Okay. And when something is removed or eclipsed from your life and you are doing your work, it's to align with your higher purpose. Okay. So what usually happens is there's suffering. And after a period of suffering, there is a reward or an award. And that's what this gift is. Okay. Being frustrated, but keeping your shit under control. Um, I just heard like a boss. Okay. You're being urged to leave the past behind. This is, uh, this is something new. A new karmic path that you're supposed to be on. Okay, so get your shit together because it's coming. We don't know what's coming, but you know what? It's a blessing no matter what because the old is outdated and toxic. It's no longer viable in the present in order to create a future. Okay, so you're going to have to just leave that behind. And regrets. I've had a few, but then again, too few to mention. Yeah, this is, um, oh well. <laughs> oh shit, oh well. Okay, so gift, we have High Priestess, King of Cups, and Justice. So for some of you guys who um, had a love relationship that broke up because of this, there's a mystery man coming in. And the funny thing is, you're going to run into this person and there's going to be a lot of synchronicities and you're really going to resonate with them like like uh like here i'm working in a store and somebody's going to come in and they're going to be looking around at the store and they're going to be like uh they're going to say a cup hi my name is so and so and you're going to be like oh um that name's been coming up in the uh universal signs every now and then and just you're going to find um synchronicities like like I had some guy come in the other day I saw this particular number and it, it made me think of a certain person because that was their birthday and then somebody else walks in and says hi my name is you know hi my name is Mark and I'm like oh my gosh that's funny I just saw my, uh, my friend Mark's birthday and that's one word appeared in my head like literally 10 seconds before he walked in the store so they were telling me that somebody named Mark they're telling me about somebody named Mark, but they weren't talking about my Mark. It could have very well have been my Mark telling me, hey, there's another Mark coming in, you know. And then I talked to this guy, and he's talking about, I was telling him that, oh, that's funny. I was, I just saw the birthday of my friend. His name is Mark, too. And uh, he starts talking about, oh, yeah, those numbers are the numbers of my hedge fund, which, it, as you know, if you guys have been watching me last week, some of my readings, I did get hedge fund, hedge fund. So that kind of caught my eye, too. And then he said, yeah, and my hedge fund number is the birthday of my friend. So, you know, multiple coincidences. This can really get your attention. And a lot of it is because you're more aligned and you're more in tune with your intuition. The high priestess is the inner divinity, okay? It's the mystery. You see, she's ruled by the moon. Where's the moon? The moon is in Taurus, okay? So whatever this gift is, uh, it's, it's a new comfort is what it feels like. Something that you're going to be comfortable with. Something that's safe, stable, and a better, a more comfortable fit, I heard. And I just saw like, <laughs> I just saw the Hanes commercials with the t-shirts and the underwear and the socks, a more comfortable fit. Okay, so this person 
is still an unknown or this gift destination unknown yet another unknown but it feels like you're going to instinctively know the truth about people coming in and there is somebody okay king of cups this can be a feminine this can be a masculine it doesn't matter but king of cups is Pisces Aquarius cusp or Aquarius Pisces cusp whatever however you look at it so it's like having no boundaries and being detached in okay, case but being filled with intense emotions like a burning fire within this is somebody who's very magnetic who controls their emotion but feels very deeply A lot of you guys are wondering, you're frustrated with your relationship with your partner, with your divine male. You're wondering where this is going to go when suddenly you get some kind of surprise, okay, because you're aligned. Maybe this is a confession from this new person or... somebody speaks out about their addiction or their repetitive habit justice can be about promises and negotiations oh this could be a promise to do better you or a promise you deserve more or you deserve better than what you've been getting let me clarify the justice card please I promise to do better. I promise to do more. You deserve somebody who's going to love you with all the passion in their soul. Oh, look, I just seen the dragon. See the dragon in the bottom of the justice card? So it's almost like either this releasing this truth or speaking this truth or a promise will uh, promise to move forward okay so somebody there's somebody who wants to move forward on you this feels like two different people this feels like this was a friend family member or a past relationship and this feels like if this was somebody who was a friend you had to get rid of then this over here is your partner for those of you you had to get rid of a partner this is a new friend or a new possible possibility that you are picking up Okay, so some of you guys might be saying, I have a problem. I'm addicted to company. I'm addicted. Gonna have to face it. You're addicted to love. Okay, so somebody might, um, somebody might be confessing that their heart's broken or they want somebody to love them. and share their life with them. The dragon, I keep seeing the North Node, your destiny, where you're headed, telling um, the justice card, promise, truth, working together in a relation, relationship goals. So removing this person, this frenemy, may have been a huge obstacle in your relationship. Huh. Maybe this person was interfering in your relationship and talking shit to your partner behind your back, trying to cause drama between you two. I just heard, I never liked her anyways. Yeah, so, so it feels like this person or, or frenemy that you had to get rid of was, try, was causing drama, perpetuating the drama in your love relationship. Yeah, definitely jealousy. Occupation. Clarify occupation. So they may reveal that this person said that, this person said this, because because uh, King of Cups, they don't say much. They just kind of they feel a lot, but they don't talk a lot. It's mostly emotions, and with justice, the truth coming out, they may be telling you that I've been I've been silent. <laughs> But I never really liked her anyway, so. Occupation is the very next card we have, and that equals seven, okay? It's 
establishing yourself in your chosen profession. This is something you love to do. This is something that you have talent at, and it's something that you're trying to build. Application, please. Yeah, there's eight. Working hard at trying to build yourself a business. They never supported you anyways. They were never behind you. Look at that. They Okay, so under occupation, we've got eight on top. Yet another eight. That's three eights. Okay, so it's shared resources. It's ability to cope. It is the end of a partnership, and it's also a new beginning, a legacy. Um, I just heard everlasting Okay, so this is what you want to do for life. Working hard to uh, um, working hard to establish yourself in a particular business or this is working hard on a new business. You might be working on something groundbreaking, okay, or you might be working on something that's the same old, same old business, but with a twist, okay? Your style, you're fine-tuning it to your particular style which is making it unique okay you could be going to school picking up a few more classes brushing up on your studies you could also be doing some research into new services new products or you could be just taking some classes in regards to what you want to do trying to expand your opportunities or create multiple streams of income okay ten of swords that's ruin. It's my life is over. It's I don't deserve to be here anymore. I don't feel like I deserve to exist. Okay. And then trying to balance some things out. So you're wondering if your chosen profession is where you're supposed to be. You may get put. I feel like the person who is your supporter, this King of Cups. They may give you some kind of a clue or some kind of a hint that you're hot on the trail of. You may look into it after something happens. Yay. After this person exiting. Okay, Ten of Swords, it's about the mind and how you think, but it's also an after-the-fact situation. After the world seemed like it blew up, this this is after the tower moment, okay? The actual moment is done, but what's left is your feelings about it, your guilt, your, um, I'm going to say animosity, but it's um, your sorrow, your pain, your regrets, everything shoulda, woulda, coulda, okay? This you have to accept what happened and move on. Two of Swords, uh, making a decision to move on after being, uh, what do you call it? After being blindsided, okay? Yeah, somebody blindsided you. You had no idea that they were an enemy or they were a friend of me until whatever this was whatever incident happened we don't have a tower here we just have a judgment call so this is an after the fact this has already happened somebody has already betrayed you or uh, victimized you in some kind of way okay so this is a decision to leave that behind and to work on the future regardless of what people tell you High honor can be praise. It's reversed. Okay, so it's not something that's a big change. It's basically an adjustment. Getting this person out is not a big change. It's an adjustment. Now that energy that and time and attention that this person took up, now it's going to be funneled back and most likely into your work. Okay, and this is definitely Capricorn energy with the Two of Swords trying to balance things out by working hard, putting your head down, and focusing and concentrating on what you're doing without this distraction. Okay. Now, you're not expecting any recognition from it, and you're not expecting any big changes. It's just adjusting an adjustment. Where am I? Oh, my God, I'm at 49. <laughs> well, I don't know what to tell you guys. That's way too much. I'm going to take the top card. And we'll shuffle it one more time if any more of those cards that that came out want to come out. Well, show yourself. 
Anything else? Any other advice, Spirit, please? Okay, so we've got two cards of advice from Spirit. Beloved one from Archangel Chamil. I am helping you with your spiritual soulmate relationship. Okay, so getting rid of this false friend is enabling you to move closer to the people who actually support you and care about you, especially your partner. Life Review, Archangel Jeremiel. Take inventory of your life and resolve to change or heal anything that is unbalanced. Okay, well, you did. You got this person out or they took themselves out of the equation. And like I said, you're readjusting that energy that you once gave to them and you're shuffling and funneling it back into your home and your work life where it should be. Okay. All right, guys, since I'm already at 50 minutes, I might as well. We are going to pull a card from the Hawaiian Healing Intentions deck. Spirit, can we get one affirmation card? A word of inspiration, please. One card. That's the one. Oh, look at that. <laughs> oh, I love you guys. Thank you, Spirit. Okay. Lanakila, victory to triumph. Okay, it's a number 16. Okay, serving yourself, getting what you deserve. It also equals seven. So this is harmony, partnership. It's heaven and fantasy. It's also enlightenment, okay? The gift of enlightenment. My intention is to transmute unhealthy choices into healthy ones, to triumph over self-sabotaging thoughts, yep, the guilt, and to be comfortable and joyous in my own skin. You know, uh, comfortable and joyous in your own skin, getting rid of the guilt, uh, deciding to get rid of that feeling. What you think, feel, and desire have great value. However, at times, all of us suffer from not feeling good enough. This can lead to self-destructive habits or the use of substances, food, or things to manage feelings. To liberate yourself in triumph, you must be willing to let go of destructive habits, thoughts, actions, people, places, and things, and instead, fill yourself with healthy choices and thoughts. Yep, see? <laughs> Purging the toxic and moving towards adjusting of the positive. All right, guys, that's all I got for you today. Sorry the reading is so long, but you know how it goes. All right, talk to you guys later.